What's up guys and welcome to Nutero. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Virgo. What's up Virgs? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Virgo as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The energy might be reversed for you, Virgo, so take it how it resonates and leave the rest. All right, Virgo, so point to oracles, so then we're going to clarify and learn some advice at the end. Some of you guys could be, like, tired of repeating yourself. Ah, 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 ah. All right. <laughs> Virgo. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Three. If you have Aries in your chart or you're dealing with one, go watch that reading, please. Okay? Because you were all up in there reading. All right? You have caring connections at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. Are you paying attention to the people that um, care about you? That's kind of what I'm getting with that. All right? The first card you have is sh second chakra here. So your body's telling you something. Virgo, your body is telling you something. Some of you guys could like be feeling a certain way, feeling a little sick um, around your stomach area. Okay, but your body is trying to tell you something. Venus and Taurus. Okay, um, patience, trust, responsibility, and stability. No matter what you're going through, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It may seem hard to get to it, but you'll find the way of to it positive things. Okay, so. Um, for some of you, this situation is going to affect your money. And maybe you have to be out of work for a while. What is the second chakra and Venus in Taurus? And I feel like you're really stressed about it. What is the second chakra of Venus in Taurus? Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Who? Two of. Wow. Yeah, I'm not about to believe what I just got. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse, the three, of, the three of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. You know why this is happening? Because there's too much on your plate, and they're tr they're they're trying to help you drop a burden. And the only way to knock a Virgo down, not knock a Virgo down, but to make a Virgo stop working is by literally, you know, affecting their health. Which is why a lot of you guys have so much health. Um, you know, you're very health issue prone because of that. So this is the way of the universe slowing you down. They want they want to separate yourself. They want you to separate yourself from something. Could be someone. Look at this. You're refusing to have a transformation. And that's the motherfucking truth. So the universe is like, sit down, Scorp. Wow. Why do I want to call you Scorpio? Because it's right here. But you could be dealing with Scorpio happening in your chart. If you do, I would go watch that reading. But yes, my love. And I know you don't want to hear it. And I know it pains you. It pains you what I'm saying. I know, I know, but do you want to keep feeling like this? With the death card in reverse, this is a transformation that needs to happen that's not happening, which means this is something that probably happens all the time. And my lover, I don't know why I wanted to say that, my love, it's going to get worse every time. It, it's, it's just going to get worse every time. You know, last year, maybe you... You know, you weren't at work for, what, two days, right? The year before that was one day, maybe a couple hours. The longer you wait, you're going to be in a hot. You're going to be, in, I said hospital, could be in a hospital. You could be down bad for a week, two weeks, a month. Like, it's just going to keep getting worse. And this is your health, boo. You can't play with that. You cannot play with that. And it's like the universe is, is about to sit your ass down. Okay, and the only way that they can, so don't be upset, all right? And while your ass is sitting down, you're gonna have like a, uh, uh, how can I say this? Because you're gonna be so upset. This is what I feel. I feel like you're gonna be so upset that you can't do anything, that you can't move, like you're literally going to be just there, right? And you're going to, it's like that frustration is going to push you to make a decision to disconnect from something that you need to disconnect from could be a love could be a job situation take it how it resonates okay all right the next card is all tied up this someone or you is lying and if this is you you better 
someone someone is like oh i can't do it i can't no my hands are tied i can't i don't know that's not true that's my card of yeah i can't do it but look at her face look at her face does she does that look like she can't do it that looks like to me like she can't yeah she's tied up but she could hop she could hop her way out of that she could hop her way into safety you know like i don't want to hear it what is this? All tied up, element, water, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have it in your chart or be dealing with one. Um, water is a symbol of emotion, dreams, and intuition. Water is receptive and sensitive to subtle currents of interconnection. It flows through everything and connects at a deeper and more unconscious level than provided by logical thought. You know this. You feel it. You feel it. What is this all tied up? Like, I'm getting tight. Because I feel like you're tight. I feel like you're upset. What is this all tied up in element water? You have the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, because it's affecting your money. It's affecting your money. Someone's like, oh, I can't do it. Sorry. They're full of it. They absolutely can. They don't want to. And you know that. And you know that. The universe is telling you that... Um, they're going to bring something in for you, okay, um, to kind of like compensate whatever was lost here because this person or this thing is like trying to act like they can't do something when they can. And because they're trying to act like they can't do it, it's affecting your finances. There's something that's going to come in to, to um, soothe you, but it's not going to be like what you're losing. And this is like, this is like um, you you know, having to switch jobs and that causing kind of a heavy, you know, ticket. Um, and no, even a better one. This is like you having to move, right? You have to move. You have no choice but to move and you don't like it. Uh, came out of nowhere. You know, if somebody was only able to help you out, you, you wouldn't have to move, right? So now you're moving, going to cost you some money. But when you move, you meet the love of your life. Or when you move, there's uh, the neighbor is, is, is smoking hot, you know, like there's something that is going to emotionally, um, I'm even hearing a child, a baby, I don't know. There's something here that's going to emotionally um, open you up and it's going to kind of like redirect. Some of you guys could be getting a pet. I'm also hearing, okay, but your intuition is like, is on point right now, my love, it is. Okay, so you guys have Pisces in your chart. Bottom of the deck is a judgment. You got to make an important decision. Very important. Because somebody want to act a fool. <laughs> somebody want to act a fool, but it's okay. I don't know why I set the table like that. I'm telling you, whoever, whatever this is, you not, you not, you ain't fancy. Virgo don't let people play with their money. Okay, just like Taurus don't either. You can have that in your chart. Anyway, let's keep going. It could be a Taurus. Anyway, um, door to spirit. This is your way out. This is your way out. But let me tell you something. <laughs> because it's spirit opening the door for you, you, you might not go through the door. And, and why? I'm about to tell you right now, Virgo. <laughs> it's because whatever required you to go through that door requires a transformation from you, requires a change from you which always means a compromise or a sacrifice so what is the door to spirit new moon winter solis oh look at that new beginnings i gotta fix this lighting guys look at that yeah all right so it says beginning intentions plans this is a time for new beginnings and setting intentions for the month ahead it's the perfect time to make plans and decide what to achieve over the next month so this might come in within the next month my love <laughs> could come into in, in around the new moon we just had a full moon in sagittarius so i feel like the new moon is, is right around the corner okay i i'm happy for you i know i, I know you guys, you guys are like i'm going through it right now and this girl but it's like you don't understand the transformational change virgo that you're about to go through you don't you don't know it you don't i can feel it and maybe you can too, you know. Anyway, what is this door to spirit and new moon here? It's about to be a new beginning. The four of pentacles in reverse. I told you you're going to have to let something go 
could be a job, could be something that you've been holding on to since Christmas. I don't know why I said Christmas, but could be Christmas. Okay, maybe four Christmases ago, because that's the four of pentacles. You have the two of wands, the knight of wands, and the lovers in reverse. Could be a Gemini. Whatever this is, it's lost its flavor. It's lost its touch. You see, it's it it you don't you don't feel the same when you do about this anymore. At one point you were like, this is for me. I want it forever. But now that it's losing its touch, it's losing its flavor, you're just like, eh, you're not as interested in whatever this is anymore. You've been making plans to skedaddle anyway. You've been making plans to skedaddle. And um, that opportunity is going to come right in. It's not going to feel good. It's not. Because you're going to have to let go. I mean, for some of you, it'll be easier than others, right? Some of you guys are already like, yeah, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you guys are like, no, wait, this is my life. So um, just make sure that you're okay with letting things go and moving forward. In the name of love. Let me stop. Some of you guys, after this happened, you're going to find love. Ooh, ooh, because you do have caring connections at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so just saying. All right, let's see. Where's the second chakra and... Venus and Taurus here. Ooh, you have friendship. <sighs> You're going to have people to help you. Okay? So don't worry. With this health situation, you'll be fine. Recognition in reverse. Um, I feel like you won't feel, I feel like you're going to have people around you that are going to want to help you more than you think. And some of you guys might not feel worthy of it. With recognition in reverse. But don't turn them away. Okay. Some of you guys might be like, no, I could do it myself. I could do it myself. No. Allow help. Okay. The people around you want to help you. Allow them to help you. I feel like it's going to be like, you're not going to, like, it's going to be such a huge gesture for some of you. Oh, my heart. Oh, hold on. This is so cute. This is like, maybe you had to get surgery or something. And then like, maybe you can't be home for some reason. And then like someone invites you to stay at their house. Or someone like offers to like be like your nurse or to take care of you. Oh, like this is like someone like, it could be like a friend or a family. Like, listen, every day after work, I'm going to come and help you. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And you're just going to feel so good, Virgo. It could be a Taurus. That was that's so cute. I love that for you. All right, what is element water and all tied up? You have mystery in reverse. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know who this is, and you know that they don't want to do it. So you know you gotta do it on your own. <laughs> okay, solitude in reverse. It is what it is. It is what it is. You don't have to go. You don't want to go through it alone, but you're going to have to, my love. It is what it is. Look at this. Free yourself. Free yourself. I don't know, guys. Don't ask. All right. What is this door to spirit and new moon? You have the truth. Ideal smells. I mean, first of all, I'm just confirming what I just said about um that the spirit that the universe is bringing you is a, a like an exit way here okay look at this oh my god yeah yeah the money's coming yeah it's coming after you've been like freaking drained uh but it's coming that's crazy i love that for you i love it make sure that you're willing to separate yourself okay because it's time all right, Virgo, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.